This demonstration will show you how to prepare uh, a blood smear for differential staining in order to identify white blood cells. The equipment that you will need, fixative, solutions one and two and distilled water, tissues, a marker pen, glass, capillary tubes, further distilled water if necessary, microscope slides, glass waste, and of course a blood sample in potassium EDTA. For this demonstration, you will also need gloves. The blood sample will have been kept upright in the fridge. Cells may have settled. Therefore, it's important to rotate the sample up to 12 times gently in order to mix the cells into a homogeneous solution. You need at least a couple of slides. your sample of blood. Once again use capillary action as you would do for PCV and dot your blood sample about two thirds of the way. Dispose of your sample in the tube and now to make your smear. Hold another glass slide between finger and thumb at about a 45 degree angle. Hold the first slide, draw back onto your blood sample, see the capillary action and draw forward quickly. This needs to be air dried and so you may need to wait a little while. You can shake it in the air to speed things up, or you can just wait and leave it resting until it dries. When you're happy that the slide is dry, just have a look at the edge there. There's a feathering, and what you're hoping for is that the smear is so thin there that you'll be down to one layer of cells which is much more easy to identify under the microscope. Now for the staining. Set into the fixative five times, one second each drip. Once, twice, three, four, and fifth. Allow any excess to drain. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Allow the excess to drain. Into solution two, one, two, three, four, five. Allow the excess to drain. And finally, you can either dip it in a Coplin jar of distilled water to clean, or you can use distilled water to clean it. But then, as you can see from here, there is possibility of losing some of your sample. Dry the edge, 
and leave it once again to air dry. It's a good idea to dry it upright and then it's ready to be looked at under the microscope. This method of differential staining is one accepted method. There are others. When your slide is dry, identify it. By whatever is your accepted means, date, sample, etc. Dispose of your gloves appropriately, and now it will be ready for assessing under the microscope.